On this episode, we're going to tackle complacency creep as we look at the top four strategies to stop safety complacency creep before it takes hold in your workplace. People work, the human touch in workplace safety. Available everywhere on Amazon. To learn more, go to kevburns.com slash peoplework. Who could have ever foreseen that you could get so good at your work that complacency would become a safety issue? Safety processes and procedures are done so well that your crews have become exceptional safety performers. And because they do work they can be proud of, they take satisfaction in how well they do the job. That satisfaction can create complacency. Now look, it's not your fault that you never saw it coming. The current safety model of training never took into account that you'd become so good that smug self-satisfaction could ever become a safety issue. See, the current model of compliance safety is built on getting people to follow rules, not on letting their guard down when they get incredibly good at it. You did what everyone else did. You followed the processes and the procedures, the rules and the regulations so well that you got into the habit of always doing well. They're not negative habits, they're the same positive habits that are now creating a safety risk. Let me illustrate this point. Almost all of my consulting and speaking clients have discussed some kind of complacency creep with me. They gush about their people, telling me that theirs are competent teams who do excellent work, but lately some niggling issues are starting to show up in the form of small mistakes and memory and judgment lapses. They're afraid that the small issues have the potential to become more serious. That, my friend, is complacency creep sneaking in. The longer crews work on the job together, the more they get into a kind of rhythm working together. But that rhythm can become a routine, and where there's a routine, there's rote doing the job robotically. Autopilot. See, complacency is not something that is fixed or repaired or even addressed at the senior management level. Complacency is addressed at the ultra-local level, at the front line between supervisor and employee. That's where the complacency takes place. That's where it gets fixed. So to effectively take on complacency creep, here are four strategies to arrest it before complacency begins to creep in. Complacency creep strategy number one. Get everyone on it. But complacency takes a team effort to eradicate. If everyone believes in not getting hurt, then they have to do whatever is necessary to achieve that result. That means being focused on the warning signs that could lead to an incident. Get in front of complacency and lessen the likelihood of an incident. Besides, physical hazards, you're looking for signs of complacency. They can happen through repetitive tasks, fatigue, rushing, you know. Get into the habit of shouting out, game on, or some other rallying phrase of your choosing. Use them as reminders that the crew needs to get their heads in the game. Employees distracted or dulled by a cold, the flu, low blood sugar, well, those folks need to be willing to be extra vigilant about their focus, attention, and mind on task. Everyone needs to work together. Complacency creep strategy number one, get everyone on it. Complacency creep strategy number two, use a strong safety marketing campaign. Look, when it comes to complacency, the message must be, our greatest threat is ourselves. Processes and procedures take care of the vast majority of the physical threats. What's left to address is the mental threat. Your repeated process and procedure over and over again to get your crews to do it right physically. Now, repeat that rallying message that reminds them that they're at mental risk. Something that gets conscious attention and blocks them from going into unconscious autopilot. That's where safety marketing comes in. It reminds your people to focus on their complacency and moments of tuning out. Remember how distracted driving and texting while behind the wheel campaigns came out to battle texting and driving or don't drink and drive campaigns? That's safety marketing, reminding people of the hazards. What gets talked about gets thought about. So build your group a safety marketing strategy. Now, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step guide to putting together your own safety marketing strategy, and you should be doing this seriously, You'll find two full chapters and a step-by-step -step plan for your Joint Health and Safety Committee to work at in, in my book, People Work, The Human Touch in Workplace Safety. And that wraps up Complacency Creep Strategy 2, using a strong safety marketing campaign. Complacency Creep Strategy 3, Supervisors Must Connect. 
The supervisor is the first line of defense when it comes to complacency. The supervisor needs to know his or her people intimately. Supervisors got to be able to tell when their people's minds are wandering. They need to be able to tell whether their crew members are distracted by a personal issue or a cold or the flu. Supervisors need to step in and, and double check. And even more important, employees need to be truthful. If necessary, a teammate could work closely with that affected person. Supervisors have to gain the trust of employees. Create a culture where employees can voluntarily admit that they're having trouble keeping mind on task. Complacency creep strategy three, supervisors must connect. And complacency creep strategy number four, make lots of easy targets and achievements. Look, nothing's quite as motivating as success. When employees succeed, they want to do it again. It feels good to succeed. Focused attention is greater during moments of success than in moments of mundane tasks. So setting up small achievable goals and targets to hit can, can build motivation to want to achieve more. Momentum is built when targets get knocked down and the team is moving forward. And your mind is certainly on task when you're trying to knock down the targets. So set your targets in two hour increments and then at break time, celebrate. The occasional box of donuts or coffee for the crew is a focusing and rewarding celebration. And sometimes even a heartfelt visit from management to offer congratulations can make a difference too. Complacency creep strategy number four, make lots of easy targets and achievements. See, to win the battle over complacency, engage your crews to look for the signs of complacency. Task them with finding solutions to overcome it. Well, we've talked about this before. The solutions that are developed at the front line gets ownership by frontline crews. Something dictated from senior management may seem thrust upon them and they'll resist that, but they will own what they develop for themselves. It's crucial that everyone get on board the challenge to eradicate complacency creep. Complacency creep is insidious, but if you're looking for it and the crews are looking for it and you're all working together to eliminate it, Complacency doesn't stand a chance.